Now that our inventory is finally ready and everything is manufactured, at least partially, we can start shipping things out. So once again I'll go to the inventory module. So say right now I'm the shipping person, so I see that I have two things pending that are ready for me to do. I'll click this and two of them are here, something going to web grain, something going to Smith Motors, but what I have to do right now is to uh, move stuff from regular inventory to the output location. I'll click on the first one and we have this cartwheel and the portable fan uh, to and for these items that we need to get out. So I'll click edit and let's go ahead and process these things. So I'll process these four items, confirm and then these ones to confirm and uh, I'm doing this manually right now but um, a barcode scanner would be more convenient for this given that these are big products uh, what uh, in the in a proper setup we would have barcodes in this where the shipping person would simply scan the two items um, and uh, well the six items in this case and they would add to this list in here so I'll save this and I will click validate so now we have moved this, uh, these items onto the shipping area and let's go ahead and process this completely out. So for example I want to send this right away so you could see that I have now one delivery order ready to go. It's that web grains delivery order that I have. So I will process that as well. I'll put these items into a pack. And let's see what the pack looks like. So it's package number one. So we have all of the items in here, four wheels and two fans. I will go ahead and define the actual package for this case. Let's see what are the options that I have here. And this is one of them, 18 by 12 by 12. That sounds good. And uh, say that this is actually 15.5 pounds. And this could be connected to a scale as well. So the weight could be populated from there. And now I will go ahead and change the delivery type to the standard shipping. So this, uh, this shipping module that we have enabled here, it's developed by Steersman. This module rate shops for the cheapest available shipping method. So in this case, it's set up to, to check UPS ground, USPS, uh, USPS priority mail, USPS first class, FedEx ground as well. So all of these things, it will check and pick the, pick the cheapest method to ship this package to the client. We could also bill it to the receiver if we want to, but in this case, let's just go ahead and process it in our account. And we don't need any signatures, no Saturday delivery, not insured, it's just regular ground shipping. So once everything is ready here, I will click validate. And then the system goes ahead and it checks all of the different methods that it could be shipping through and it picks the cheapest one and generates a label for it. So in this case the label is generated for USPS and I could see the label right here. It's a sample label obviously in this case. And this package has now been shipped completely out so we have the other one though, we have a freight shipment going out with the five of the large shells. So let's go ahead and process this one now. I'll check availability on this. And so we have all the bins available, but we're only shipping five of the shelves. So let's go ahead and actually not process all of the quantity. We will, we will only ship five shelves and we will ship 90 of the bins. Same thing, we can put this in the pack. Let me go ahead and check on the package here. And it's a proper information here. So I will save it, for example, this is 370 uh, pounds in here, or maybe it could be even much more. Perhaps it actually would be in five different packs and then we would, we would set up five separate packs for these things. We could do that. Um, maybe if 
if I have made a mistake, I will go ahead and unpack this and I will process it differently. There we go. And I'll put it into pack again. Double check it. And now I have one and 18, so I actually have one shelf on one pallet. I'll say, for example, that the weight for this is 100 pounds. Similarly, I could pack up all the rest of these other things in here, the remaining stock, but I don't really want to do that right now. So I will simply process it like this. So I'm making a new pack and we're putting all four of them in there. Same goes for these guys. 72, pack number four, confirm. And we don't have any delivery method. Uh, we will be just shipping this via freight. So I'm not updating the weights for this. It's not critical in this scenario. So I will go ahead and click validate in here. And the system, as with receipts, it's telling me that I'm not shipping all of the items um, and it's, it's offering for me to create a back order or not create a back order. In this case, we do want to create a back order, definitely, because we need to ship these things later. So I will set that up and I will exit the pick and see I have another pick in here available and it's for 90 of these things. So there is no shelves available yet, but 90 bins are there. So this is a back order, it will stay here to ship when, once it's available. But the delivery order is now here. So we can send this out, we already have it pre-packed, we packaged it now in the picking operation. And so I don't have any additional information that I need to set up in here. I will just click validate in here and uh, I will process all of this stuff. back order so 5 and 90 were processed so all of this stuff is now shipped out we have still uh, the five shelves to be made they're here in manufacturing and then we need to ship them out at the end so the only things we have left now are to bill our clients to check all the accounting records that we have created for all of these automated moves and also we need to go ahead and accept some bills from our vendors for all of the inventory that we bought and see how that will also affect the inventory.